teachers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Today, we are going to be talking about the differences between being a special education teacher in a small district versus a big school district. Go ahead and comment below and let me know if you are teaching in a big or small school district. You might agree or disagree with me, but these are just my own experiences working in a big district and then moving to a small district. In a big district, I notice that you have more resources available for you and your students. I also noticed that there was a lot more support when it came to special education. There were also a lot more programs for people with disabilities. Since the community was bigger, there was just more options in general. There were more special education teachers at my school, which was really nice too. There was a ton of professional development opportunities at the big district that I worked at. They even gave us an IEP training, which was very, very, very useful. I also noticed that assistive technology is more readily available in a big district. I'm not sure if this one is true everywhere, but where I live, you are paid more in a bigger district versus a smaller district. Here's another one. Um, in my instance, I had a lot bigger caseload in a bigger district since there were more students who needed special education services, but that definitely depends on the school. Also, I think it's a lot easier to get a job in a big district because there are so many more jobs available and obviously they need more special education teachers than in a smaller district. So here are some things that I noticed about working in a smaller district. I definitely noticed that if you're in a small district, it's more of like a tight-knit community. Everyone knows everyone, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, just depends on your taste. Like I said, kind of the opposite, in a smaller district, there's, there was way less services available for my students with special needs. Another thing with a small district is that you might be the only special education teacher, and that could be hard, especially if you're a newer teacher. I also noticed at a smaller in a smaller district, there's less experts in the field to help you. In the big districts, we had people that would help us with behaviors and someone who would read through the IEP that would make sure that we were legally following everything that we needed to do. There was nothing like that in the small district that I taught at. In the smaller district too, obviously it's school dependent, there was so much more drama. I think since everyone is a lot closer and everybody's families knew each other's families and there was just non-stop drama in my position where I worked in a small district. So here's my personal opinion. I personally love teaching in a bigger district versus a smaller one. There were so many more resources available for my students, which I think is super important for students with disabilities. Go ahead and comment below which you prefer and why. I think it'd be really helpful to get other people's input on this topic too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you are looking for some free resources for your classroom, make sure to check out the links in the description of this YouTube video. Also, I have a bunch of activities available in my TPT shop that you can purchase for your special education class Classroom. My TPT shop is called Activity Teacher. I hope you have a great week. Happy teaching!